It's time once again for Uncle Matt's Bedtime Story. Hello, everybody. It's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And I don't know about you, but do you have different names that you call your grandparents? You know, besides grandma and grandpa, that's usually what I call my grandparents. Um, but sometimes people call them, you know, papa, mama, gramps, granny, all those kind of names. Do you have different names to call those grandparents? Well, there's a story here that we're going to read, and it's not a name I would call my grandparents, but um, it is for this little girl. It's called Baba June's treasure baba june's treasure by farnez Eznashari, illustrated by nabi h ali and uh i really am attracted to the illustrations here it's uh, quite a colorful book and a great story so i hope you enjoy it as well baba june's treasure And this story was copyright in 2023. We've got a brand new book here, folks. Every summer, I spend a week at my Baba June's and Mama June's house. It's a tradition we have. I love going to their house because it is always a magical adventure. Mama June usually makes a big basket filled with treats. We sit and eat them together at the sofre in the garden of their tea shop. And then Baba June takes me out for a super special to tasty treat. Two rocket pops, please. One for me and one for Baba June. When Baba June goes to pay for our rocket pops, coins spill out of his pocket. There is one coin that doesn't look like the rest. It doesn't look like any coin I've ever seen. Hmm. Why does Baba June have such a special gold coin? Could it be from somewhere far away? From a place with treasure? Hmm. While we sit and eat our tasty treats, a beautiful bird flies above us singing a pretty song. I gasp in surprise when my Baba June sings along. Baba June, how do you and the bird know the same song? Baba June smiles and says, all birds love the song Layla. Growing up, my family had many birds. I learned their favorite song from my Baba June, who learned it from his. Gold coins. Secret songs for a parrot. I can't believe my parents never told me. My Baba June is a pirate. Whoa! Does that mean, could I be a pirate too? It doesn't seem so hard. Arr, me mateys, clean up the poop deck. There are sharks in these waters. On our way back to the tea shop, Baba June says he has a quick errand to run. We enter a shop I've never seen before. Instead of saying hello, Baba June talks in a language I don't understand. Salam, you know, June's. Kobe, salam, Aziz Jun. Could it be that their very own private pirate language? Could it be a pirate language? I don't know. What could they be talking about? Could it be about pirate treasure? I wonder if there's a secret treasure hiding behind the wall, filled with pirate booty waiting for us to come and get it. 
I watch in awe as Babajun and his friend make a super secret pirate crystal maid. Oh, pirate crystal trade, not a maid, a trade. When the trade is done, Babajun and his friend hug each other as they say goodbye. Let's see here. Mercy Yunus Jun's Loft Darid Azim Galbil Nardar Azi Jun. Then, as we are leaving the shop, Babajun does something unthinkable. He tries to take a big bite out of his treasure. Babajun, no! You'll break all your teeth. Pirates don't eat their treasure, they hide it. That's the first rule of being a pirate. Pirate? Babajun asks. Who said I was a pirate? Because you have gold coins from another land. You sing magical bird songs, and you made a super secret pirate treasure trade with the long-bearded pirate. Oh dear. Babajun laughs. With a smile, Babajun explains, these coins do come from a different land, but they are from my childhood home in Iran. And you are right, they are a treasure, but not in the way that you think. They are my favorite tasty treat from home called Nabat. Here in America, they are called rock candy. Sometimes I like to visit my friend Yunez and speak Farsi with him to feel a little bit of home. When we were little boys, Yunez and I would save these old coins and spend them at our favorite tea shop every day after school. It reminds us of very special days. Is that why you opened your own tea shop to feel a little piece of home? Exactly, Miriam June. Baba June hugs me tight. I'm glad you're asking questions. Is there anything else you'd like to know? I have so many questions, but there is one that I'm a little afraid to say out loud. With Babajun's hand holding mine, I feel brave enough to ask. Could I be like you? I want to collect Iranian coins and sing beautiful songs like Layla and speak Farsi and eat Nabat too. Don't you see, my dear Miriam June? You already are like me but I don't know everything you know. When I first came to America, I felt the same way, but you want to know a secret? Babajun leans in close and says, there's always time to learn. Together, you teach me and I teach you. On the way back to the tea shop, I'm glad my Babajun isn't a pirate. Now I know who he really is. He is a leader who sings beautiful songs, speaks a pretty language, and is brave enough to go on grand adventures that take him across oceans. And one day, I can't wait to be just like him. Salam, Mama June. Salam, Azium. The end. Well, that's for sure. Grandparents are pretty special. Sometimes they might look really old and we don't understand what they are doing sometimes or their customs or the things that they wear or have, but you can ask. Maybe they'll tell you a little bit about that story of why they have those things or some history, some facts that you would had no idea about. Well, that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.